What you doing, goofy boy? Hi, good morning, everybody. <laughs> this is Brittany and Zukari Serval here at Big Cat Rescue. Were you gonna get me? My goodness. He was gonna get me. Good morning, everybody. If you guys can take a second and share this, tag your friends and family that we're live. Good morning, Krista. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Pat. Good morning, Sherry. Hi, Bridget. Hi, Liz. Hi, Cheryl. Good morning, Debbie. Where are you being a wild boy? Where are you being a wild boy? Where are you being a wild boy? I feel like we have some zoomy potential going on here with Zucari Serval. He's been very frisky already. What are you being so frisky for? Good morning, Juanita. Thank you guys for tagging and sharing this live feed. We might have a very frisky Zucari doing lots of pouncing, runnings and jumpings. Zucari, what's going on with you? Good morning, Carrie Ann. Hi, Mary. <laughs> we have a very zoomy serval. Very zoomy. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Sheila. Hi, Austin. Good morning, Sherry. We just got started. I was walking throughout back and I saw him crouch down like he was stalking me and then if you missed the very first scene of this live it's him pouncing through the air at me very cute can't decide what he wants to play with what are you getting you king of the mountain you're just playing with sticks and leaves you're so goofy you have actual toys you do have actual toys. You do have actual toys. Oh, there's a Nala walking around in the background. What you doing, wild boy? Zucari can be very hard to keep on screen, so bear with me. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Thank you guys for joining me this morning. It's a brisk low 50s here in Tampa with a nice uh, kind of teeth chattering breeze occasionally coming off the lake for us Floridians. I was pretty bummed out. Yesterday we were supposed to have had a pretty rainy Saturday which would have been perfect because I need more of this pollen to go away. My yard also really needs it. <laughs> cut down on some of the dust would be nice as well. Uh, it did not rain. It was a big bummer. Big bummer. Whoa! You being so crazy! You can see where he likes to rub and roll around. It's the only area of the platform that doesn't have pollen on it. Hi kiddo! You being so wild! You are being so wild, sir. He's playing with absolutely everything. Yeah, I know. I know, silly. Must pounce on this grass. Must pee on this grass. Oh my gosh. Isn't that amazing how he practically f disappears behind that small little patch of, <laughs> of sawgrass there? A lot of people asked if while I was in Africa if we saw any of the small cats like the caracals or the African servals and I was like, it's hard enough to find a giant lion. <laughs> we did not get lucky enough to see 
any of the small cat species besides some jungle cats that we saw at a night tour. So but it's been pretty silly to see a handful of sightings people have had recently with servals. It seems like during their rainy season is when you're more likely to see a serval, but less likely to see a lot of other things. So, <laughs> you know I'm gonna follow you. You're being too cute. You're being too cute. Anyone who's gonna be too cute gets to stay on camera for a while. <laughs> He's so goofy. I love to know what kind of imagination game he's playing right now. <laughs> just over his coolaroo and through his grasses. <laughs> you being so crazy. You are being so crazy, sir. Definitely getting some potty zoomies in here. Do you have a piece of grass hanging out of your mouth now? <laughs> this has been going on for a while now, if you guys have just joined in. <laughs> we have some Zucari zoomies for sure. It's nice and cool. They've already had breakfast. Gotta get some energy out before they sleep all day long. Oh, he called the attention of Aria. She was way out in the middle when I first walked over and vacation, and now she's like, What's that crazy cat doing? What are you doing, sir? Being wild. Being absolutely wild. Every time I go to zoom in on him, he takes off though. Yep. <laughs> like clockwork. Where are you going? Are you done or are you still showing off? <laughs> okay, I guess we're still showing off. Oh, he's got Nala chasing him across the street too. Nala's like, what is that boy doing? Should I be panicking? What's happening? <laughs> You helping Nala get her steps in? She was chasing you. Two perfectly good toys to play with right there and you played with a piece of palm tree. <laughs> he literally is batting around this piece of like, what looks like a chunk of wood, but it's a piece of palm husk. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous, sir. Where'd you go? Are you done with us? No, there you are. You're not done yet. 
Here's that handsome boy. You see Nala over there? I wonder if Nala will let me see Nala over there. I absolutely love his smile too. You got everyone riled up. Arya's like, what the heck? Nala's like interested when she's never interested in anything. <laughs> Unless it's food. He's our youngest serval, so that tells you a lot. Let's go over and see if Nala will let us catch a glimpse of her pretty face. And I will show you guys something fun that happened for Miss Kali yesterday. At least I think it was yesterday. It could have started on Friday, but they did a nice little change to her enclosure to help with her mobility. And I am thrilled. We're going to go see your neighbor. Do you want us to go see your neighbor? Or are you going to do something crazy? Where'd she go? Oh, I still see her. <laughs> yes. We go see that neighbor. Hi, cute boy. Hi, cute boy. Sorry, guys. When they're this active and lively, I just want to spend my entire time with them. It's a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun, buddy. Yeah. All right, you do some grooming. Let's see if we can see Nala real quick. She's up on the move. Hi, Nala Bean. Hi, Nala. Are you up watching the lake? A lot of bird sounds today. So many bird sounds. And a lot of breeze coming off the lake. Zucari following us. So you can see that they're next door to each other, but they can't actually walk through this tunnel to get to one another. They've got separate spaces. Hi, honey. You always find a way to basically hide. I do love that about you. I do love that about you, even though I never get to show you. Oh, oh there you are. Queen of the mountain. That's a much better view of Zukari. Here's our Nala. Where's our Nala? What'd you get in your mouth? There's that pretty girl. She also has one of the cutest serval faces. Big, beautiful eyes. She has my favorite serval tail. I love Hutch's, of course, because his is curly, but hers is like a full-blown raccoon, like just super fluffy. <laughs> Super fluffy tail. Well, how wonderful. She can let us see a little bit of her morning grooming. <laughs> you got a piece of grass right there, silly. <laughs> now get these grasses out of the way. They tickle my nose. They need to go. They need to go. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. That is so 
cute lady. You look so good up there, honey. You really do. So glad to see you. You never get this kind of time with Nala. Whoa, that was a very big bird. That was a huge bird. Thank you so much to everybody helping out in the comments. I'm honestly just watching the cat and my camera. My camera and stabilizer haven't been playing super nice. <laughs> so Sometimes it looks like it's just going to fall over and quit working. So You're doing a lot of licking, lady. What's that about? Do you get grass in your teeth? Yeah. Thank you again to everybody who tagged each other. I can tell you firsthand that again this week I had to go back in and go to Big Cat Rescue's Facebook page and actually mark that I wanted to be notified for new posts and lives. So it's like basically every other week I feel like there's some kind of update that sometimes clears your, your settings. So that might be something everybody checks today. Well, that was a fantastic moment with Nala. There's no way I can walk away and not say hi to the boy. Hi, kiddo. Here's Hutch. We're just going to make it a serval Sunday. A serval Sunday, sir. We're going. Hi. Give me your may love. Hi. Hi, cutie pie. Look at those pretty spots. Look at those pretty spots. Ah. We've shown all three serval personalities this morning. Hissy and elusive, wild and crazy, <laughs> rubby and roly. No, sweet boy. Don't you get any ideas, though. We don't need you zooming. He's he's like half your age. He can zoom. He can zoom. Sweet boy. Sweet boy. Yes, it's just a Sunday grass after breakfast kind of day. Oh, <laughs> just gonna sit in my sit in my grasses. It is really amazing to me how their coats are so kind of wild and crazy. Spots and stripes. They look like they should stand out like a sore thumb, but when he's just sitting over there, he. Kind of starts to look like a pile of leaves. <laughs> the camouflage is absolutely amazing. I guess it's Sunday, so it's yard work day. Everybody's trimming their grasses. Everybody trimming those grasses. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, good boy. Oh, I know my love bug. I haven't given the grooming class here in a couple of months, but I know all the groomers I've trained have been working hard with the cats, and I myself still try to make sure I do a session every couple of weeks, especially with the cats I use for training, but I'm training someone tomorrow, so I sure hope Hutch <laughs> is ready for some grooming. <laughs> uh, I hope you're ready for grooming tomorrow. 
gotta make me look good. <laughs> like, And just like that, he practically disappears. So incredible. All right, should we go see Aria since she's been kind of just, hi, honey. She's just been waiting and waiting. I'll go across the street real quick and see Aria. You can watch Aria 24 seven on two different cameras on vacation. <laughs> she wants her close up. She wants her close-up. Can't always hear chuffs on the cameras. Yeah. Hi, honey. Ooh. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, good girl. Do you have a happy, happy St. Patrick's Day? No, yeah. This year it kind of just came and went, didn't it? You go back out. Let's go in the big yard. Yeah, let's go in the big yard. This is just the roof section got acres to play on. Kind of cold to swim though, baby. It's a little bit cold to swim. You just want to walk? We just take a walk together. This is Aria Tiger. Currently in the vacation rotation. She likes to walk her keepers. You definitely like to walk those keepers, yeah. don't you? Yeah. Keep us all in line, all in shape. What a good girl. What a very good girl. Get those after breakfast exercises. I guess the one good thing that came out of no rain yesterday is you probably got to have a Catterday live, so that's good. And I think it should hold off today for there to be a singing Sunday, so. Yeah, it's exciting. Very loud equipment for the pond. Very, very loud. Yeah. Just walking our tiger this morning. I know, we're still just going. We are still just to going. Are we going to the very edge? I'm letting you leave this party. I'm not walking all of vacation, though. I turn around and go back the other way. <laughs> I'm going to go all the way that way. <laughs> Is this where we're going to flop? Oh, we turn around? Okay. Yeah, I'm fine going down this side. I'm not going to go down the back side. It's probably soggy. I'm not wearing boots. I'm not wearing boots. You're such a good girl. <laughs> yes, you are. You're such our good girl. All right, back by the loud part. Back by the loud part. Here we go. All right. What a sweetheart. What a sweetheart. You're such a good lady. You're such a good lady. What's your plans today? Which platform are you going to lay on? Which then you gonna hide out in? Did you take your meds? Did you take your meds? <laughs> yeah. Bara keep taking your PM ones too. Yeah. What a good girl. Here, you wanna stay out here? I don't, we don't have to go back in the roof section. Yeah, I know. We don't have to though. Back to the start. Oh, she's like, oh, I go in that door? No, I don't go in that door. Hi. Hi, sweetie. Are we done with our walk? <laughs> yeah, we can just hang right here. We can just hang. 
That was a very fun walk. I got my steps in. Got those steps in, didn't we, baby? Yeah. Didn't we? Hi, sweetheart. No? Okay, we still going? I let you take this round by yourself, okay? We'll go show some other cats then. I want to check in on Kali, your neighbor, right now. Yeah. <laughs> sweet lady. Hey, sweet lady. Should we go check on Kali? You know, sweetheart. I know. Why don't you go go play with something out there? Oh, <laughs> yes, I know. You're going to have your cleaners and your double checkers come out here in a minute, too. Then you got more people to walk around. So again, if you want to watch Aria 24-7 feeding camera or the vacation camera, you can find the list of those cameras at bigcatcams.com. All right, sweet pea. I'm going to go across the street now. I know. You have a good day. Let's go see where Kali is and I'll show you guys the modifications that were just done. So you guys know Kali is our oldest cat on property. She's 22 year old tiger. A few times that age, roughly by about six, that's what they say she would be in human years. So she's quite elderly, 300 pounds of, <laughs> of tiger. Um, so you guys know a feeding lockout here is sort of a box extended off the side of the enclosure where it houses the water and the feeding slab. There she is. Hi, just in time to show us your new feeding slab, baby. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl, honey. Yeah, that's exciting. I'm so glad they I'm so glad they did that for you, honey. I'm so glad. You can see it's really it's her back feet that are a little slidey. Which is pretty common when the when the big cats get older. Yeah. Then back feet get a little slidey. Right, sweetie? Yeah. And she can struggle to turn around in tight spaces. So you can see that they obviously went in here, did a lot of raking and cleaning up of all of these grasses. So there's not a lot of obstacles in here for her. But the biggest change was she was eating in basically a lockout such as this. And they were building her little, little ramps, which I think she's going to show you an example. So she would go into this lockout here to eat and drink. And this is how all the big cats are, because that way if they need a vaccine or we need to get close eyes on them or we even need to trap them in this uh, lockout area for various vet or moving reasons, um, you know, we can close this door behind her and then she's hypothetically contained in this lockout area. So all the big cats eat in their lockouts. But what we did was this concrete area here used to be a, um, like a water box, which is why there's piping and it used to be attached to water and they could drain it out, rinse it out and then refill it. And it was like a massive water bowl, essentially. It's been out of commission for years. I mean, I've been out here eight years and I've never used this thing before. So that's how long uh, they've not been used. So anyway, um, I'm not sure who did it, but I know Afton made the update, but they put a huge concrete slab on top of this out of commission water bowl. 
and this is where she's gonna eat breakfast now. So she is not even gonna have to lean down to eat food, and she certainly isn't gonna have to find her way out. <laughs> Are you scratching? Oh boy. She's like, can't figure out if it's a fun toy. Is it a fun toy? Don't you crawl up there though. Don't you crawl up there, ma'am. So yeah, this is her new buffet table. So she can still go into lockouts for water, although I have a feeling that that will be the next solution is creating a way for her to get water without even having to go into a feeding lockout. It's more about her being able to turn around and since she's sliding her back feet a little bit, we don't want her to get her little paw cut, not cut, well that too, cut or caught <laughs> on wire from sliding around. So we are just always watching her and making adjustments as needed to make her more comfortable. Because as long as she is still up moving and eager for food, yeah, this girl loves her food. This girl loves her food. Yeah, you sure do. It's a good thing. Good job, honey. Yeah, where are you going to take your nap today? In this den, probably. It's not gonna be a super sunny day, at least not the first part of the day, so. Yeah, she's gonna go in that den. All right, honey. Good job, babe. Actually, we'll walk behind the enclosures. Here she goes, she's gonna go hang out in her den today. So, yeah, that is our new Update for our eldest cat at Big Cat Rescue, Miss Kali. And I just wrote out my, so the rest of this month, here soon we're celebrating another Sue and Lakota uh, milestone. And then obviously Flint, Mr. Flintster, has a birthday coming up at the end of this month. But I was already looking at next month's celebrates and Mr. Moses, our second oldest cat on property, will be celebrating a milestone birthday as well. So I'm gonna get all of that ready. If you guys saw the email or any of the posts on Facebook or Instagram, I do have two eBay auctions currently um, for bidding through, I think it ends this Wednesday morning. So if you are a fan of any of our past rehab bobcats, specifically um, two that were here during the same era, and one that was a very St. Patrick's Day themed, <laughs> those are currently available in our eBay auctions. So go check those out. We've got a Simba over here. Hi, Simmers. Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> Hi, kiddo. <laughs> How's that boy? Yeah. Oh, you can go all the way that way. I just came from that way. It's like. <laughs> I can see on the street. You can see he's been working very diligently on this tree. You guys recall during his neuter procedure, we showed you guys that he has been declawed on his front paws. Yet he's still doing that to the tree. Because he still has teeth. People, for some reason, think if you declaw a cat that you've taken away their defenses and the way that they can be mean and destroy your house. And I'm thinking they still have a mouthful of teeth. And generally, as soon as you handicap them in one space, like their paw,
paws, <laughs> then their mouth becomes even more important. It's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what he's doing over there, but he went and laid in the middle of the... I'm definitely getting my steps in from everybody today, but that's perfect because I, I had just had a conversation with Howard and Carol about my work weeks and I'm like, Sundays and Wednesdays, I try to make the day that I spend all my time in my office. So I might as well get some steps in prior. So Simba is currently stalking Kali in the background. Which is really funny. <laughs> She's like, I lay by my toy. He was clearly swimming today because his ground is soaked in front of this pool. You gonna get that girl? Did you already give up? Oh, Kali. She's like, look how cute my belly is, Simba. Nope, he's just going to eat grass. That is the theme of today. It's like I wasn't stalking her, I was just mapping out what grass I was going to trim. Nothing to see here. It's a tiger eating grass. <laughs> Very big yawn down there. Simmers, what are you doing? Yeah, all the cats heard there was not going to be a work group today, so they <laughs> took it into their own paws. another good gash on the tree that's right in front of him. Anytime you see that reddish area, it's usually some fresh paw and claw marks, and in Simba's case, teeth marks. You got something in your tooth? <laughs> I'd imagine so. I was just at the vet and they told me how important dental care is. <laughs> so weird. Kali's just watching him. 
Oh, what did I say? Something incorrect or make a mistake? I see everybody being like, well, it's Britney's Monday. Now what did I do? I know I'm usually guilty of starting a sentence or I'm about ready to tell you where you could go sponsor or where you could watch a camera and then I know, don't end up giving the link. <laughs> That's why you guys are there. It's so important. Keep me on track. Hi. <laughs> He's so goofy. He's like, oh, I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe you caught me doing that. <laughs> so embarrassed. Oh, boy. All right. Well, since Kali is walked all the way over here to stare, we're going to see her again. I thought we were going to tuck her into her den and be done. But hi, hi, me. Hi. Get some Kali time. Yeah. It's the best time. Yeah. Maybe maybe the boy will stalk me now instead of you. No. Guess you want to say hi again? Okay. You see that boy. What's that boy doing? She just, I guess, wasn't done with her conversation. She wasn't done making me walk with her. Hey! She's like, wherever you's going. <laughs> you can tuck her into a warm den for me. <laughs> That's my twinsie. She's like, oh, I go with you now? Okay. Oh, well, Max just came out. I think that's why we lost Simba. Max came out of the den. Well, let's say hi to Max Tiger, and then I think that's where I'm going to call it for today. We didn't see a ton of different cats, but the cats we saw really put on a show today. <laughs> Mainly Zucari. Hi Maxie. This is Max's current morning walk while Ari is on vacation. So also another camera. Bigcatcams.com. It'll say Aria, but Maxie is house sitting. Hi good boy. Hi, good boy. Yeah. I know you've been such a good boy. Taking such good care. Making sure her favorite bed stays warm. Making sure her walking paths are clear. Yeah, so many good chuffs for Maxie. Yeah, so many good chuffs, sir. Well, I really, really appreciate if there were any donations today on this live. 100% of your donations is what goes to the care of these cats. And our donations have been frighteningly low. So anything helps. If you can't help financially, the best way you can help the cats for free is helping us on social media liking our posts, sharing our posts, leaving comments on our posts, sharing our stories, sharing our reels, responding to other people in the comments with nice, fun information. <laughs> right, bub? And we're on everything. You can find us on TikTok, as well as Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Right, bub? Yeah, he walks it like a figure eight. I think I've, I've said this, you know, hundreds of times in the last five years of doing lives, but even in the wild, big cats follow paths that have been walked over generations of animals. They're uh, referred to as a corridor. So different wildlife corridors, but the little tracks that they make 
Sometimes they're really, really faint, but you can tell that there's definitely a trail there, a little game trail. And in captivity, they do the same thing. Yeah, you are very precise with yours. He does this in his home enclosure as well, also in the very end bubble of it. So it's like his perimeter check. But he does, he goes through the den, up the trail. <laughs> Such a smart boy. Such a smart boy, buddy. And that's the downfall of these cats being in captivity period is they can never go free but they do at least get a ton of space and accredited sanctuaries. And even though he's got like 12 cages all connected that he could go into any of them, he loves this section. <laughs> it's closest to Simba, so. Oh, we see a keeper and we don't know what we think about it. It's just Penny. And when he feels a little unsure, then he cuts his path short, like he's doing right now. <laughs> well, thank you again very much to everybody who shared this, who helped out in the comments, anybody who donated today. If you have not checked out the eBay auctions, there are two live right now, past rehab bobcats, Alpha and Clover. Also, we're halfway through March, so if you have not sponsored a cat yet at BigCatRescue.biz, you still have time to do that. If you sponsor a cat in the month of March, you'll be entered into a drawing at the end of the month, and you could win a Kimba paw print. So thank you guys so much. I hope you all have a great day, weather permitting. I hope to see you guys again tomorrow. And I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. See, I told you it was just Penny. Yeah. She very nice. She very nice. <laughs> All right, everybody. Take care.